Halle Bailey is being called a bad mom because DDG is around the baby more than her. Also, people are mad that Halle Bailey let Halo continue crying. What was she supposed to do? Take him out of the car seat? That's illegal. Here's what DDG had to say. I've been wanting to say this because I be seeing a lot of people, you know, say stuff like, DDG always with the baby. DDG don't let Halle see the baby, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Halle just way more private than me. I know I'd be on social media all day. This is my bread and butter slash life. So I do this all the time. I am with him a lot, but Halle is with him like all the time, all the time. So, you know. I just want to make sure y'all give her her parenting because she's an amazing mother. She does great with him. She came up with the braids. Was my idea. I did the lining though. She can't have the lining. She dressed him today. She bought him the Nemo and she made his bottle. She just had to go to a meeting. So I got him right now. J Sickle's new girlfriend Bella was exposed for talking to J Sickle and another dude at the same time. Supposedly someone found a video of Bella and another dude and they were saying that it happened recently but the dude Jordan came out and said that wasn't recently. That was back in July. Now he did admit that he was talking to Bella back in July but then he found out about J Sickle through J Sickle's YouTube video. So he decided to cut her off because he thought that him and Bella was going to be together. In my opinion back in July Bella wasn't with J Sickle or the dude as far as the relationship. So she could do what she want. Jay Seiko recently just asked Bella to be his girlfriend. Now, this would be considered cheating, but back in July, if the last time she spoke to the dude was July 9th, that's not cheating. But like I told y'all in the previous video, Jay Seiko's supporters want him to be single. They don't want him to be with Bella. Jordan, the other dude Bella was talking to said, I mean, I knew about Seiko ish before we was done talking. He bought her them lashes and she came to be with me. We were supposed to go to Miami, but I found out about the whole being on YouTube ish. So it was basically a dub after that. Jay Seiko said behind the scenes for a couple of months now, he's been talking to Bella. So he's been having a good time with a whole bunch of girls she has every right to have a good time and have a free trip to miami with another dude if she's not tied down to anybody the dude even said i don't understand how y'all got that video and y'all tried to twist it because he wasn't mad he said it was a dub he took the l what are we talking about queen and clarence posted a video titled it's been six years how well do you know me now if clarence ain't gonna be honest i'm gonna be honest i love queen but she don't know what the fuck she wants. i'm pretty sure throughout the years clarence probably has some envision of what he wanted to do and how he wanted to propose to queen and queen Queen keeps changing it. Like I can see her watching different movies about weddings or proposals and stuff. And she's like, oh, I want to do that. Oh, I want to do that. Oh, let's go here. Now keep in mind, Queen's dream trip was to go to Mexico. Now she wants to go to Italy. Is he supposed to propose in Mexico when now she says she wants to go to Italy? Now he's like, damn, let me hold Lorraine. Cause now she don't even give a F about Mexico now that we going. Let me hold Lorraine to Italy. If it was up to Clarence, they would have went to the courthouse. They would have been but Queen is a celebrity and of course people are gonna want to know how Clarence asked her and was it romantic was it something that she wanted was it her dream I was stressed watching the video I'm like what y'all leave your comments down below let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that Carmen admitted on live that Corey did file for divorce a month ago Corey did post up the divorce papers with Carmen's address which Carmen was pissed what's so hard about you signing the documents that was already created you said I have no ways to get you these papers and I'm capping but what this look like I'm tired of this girl trying to keep up with this social media image because this is the only way she can survive in the United States. I don't give a F about nothing you talking about Carmen and I don't want to meet up with you shorty. Chill with that narrative. Your lawyer can meet up with me. I don't give a F. Sign these papers and I won't speak on you at all. You can put on for these fans all day but I'm more focused on you signing these papers and detaching my name. All this woman do is lie and play victim and I guess because she's a female y'all want to take her side. Man I can give two Fs about this girl speaking on how she's a sex toy to the industry now. You're going to keep dragging this situation and people are gonna really start seeing the truth about you now tell your lawyer whoever they are let's get these papers signed I want a divorce from you simple I know for a fact you received the papers the first time I got this from the court yesterday stop playing with me on the paperwork that Corey showed it doesn't show that Carmen was served or that it was certified mail he has to show that particular document this is just the divorce papers saying that he did file it and that these are his options y'all leave y'all comments down below let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that Carmen did respond because she was
was upset, she said, let me say this one more time. I never in my life received ish from nobody for me to sign. Cause believe me, I would have been signed like yesterday. All right, boom, my fake lawyer's been guiding me on everything. I'm not just gonna do whatever cause you want it. LOL, no sir. I'm way smarter than what you dumbass think. Boom, you so effing stupid that you really forgetting a lot. Like stop crying to the internet and handle ish the right way. But wanna say I'm the one doing it for social media. Every time someone knew something was because of your mouth. Leave me alone, what needs to be signed and done will be done. Trust me and believe me when I say, I don't wanna be attached to no lame dude that can't even provide for his kids. You a joke. So y'all leave your comments down below when it comes to that. Carmen also said that Corey's raffle is a scam. Supposedly the winner that won Corey's truck, he was never a part of the original raffle. He called Corey a couple of days before the raffle was supposed to end and he said he wanted to give him $20,000 up front in his old school car. Corey did some kind of scamming thing to make it seem like he won the raffle, but really he took the $20,000 in the old school truck and claimed that he was the winner. Now the guy who won the truck did speak out and respond to Carmen and he showed proof that he was a part of the raffle. He said, proof is in the pudding. I've been doing raffles for CJ on 32, Corey and CJ so cool. I never won. This been going on for years. My government name is right there in my email address and you can see I circle in yellow my name, my receipt for the $200,000 truck raffle. So miss me with that BS. I spent 20K and it was legit. So stop saying y'all was scammed or asking for proof. There y'all go, now go share this. Carmen exposed Corey for sleeping with FNT Bay, AKA Curly Red during their marriage, which Curly Red at the time did tweet in a mid that she did sleep with Corey. Now it was a whole big thing that happened. If you have not seen that video, go on my main page and watch this video first so you can understand this video. But Curly Red did speak out and here's what she had to say. But talk about something that happened years ago. Nah, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. That I'm not gonna do. And the only reason why she's saying something now is because she's not with him now. But when she was with him, she had his back and she knew exactly what he was doing and what he was capable of. And she laughed at me for being manipulated and lied to and vulnerable, which I have messages of her saying that, just for her to still stand there. Like, you look dumb. That's why she didn't say nothing before because you couldn't, you couldn't say, oh, this is what just happened and you're still there. Like, especially by when it's like what time this was and how they was all on social media trying to be a good perfect couple and all this type of stuff like it was a lie so you couldn't say anything a long time ago because you would look stupid everybody would look stupid the whole situation was stupid <laughs> so now you want to say something now when you're not with him no more but don't be fake and phony when you still stood by him and you let him do certain stuff you ain't stand on nothing and talk about women empowerment and all that God stuff and this, that, and the third. Child, please. Child, child please. Child, I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. If I don't know people and I don't know people from a can of paint, I can't tell y'all what I know. Just because people sit on the internet and y'all might have known people doesn't mean that I did. I don't sit on the internet. I don't know about people on YouTube. I only know what I went. I only know what I went. What I was told, and the thing about it was, both of them followed me on Instagram at the same time. Both of them wanted me to do a threesome with them. I wasn't on that type of time. I was told it was an open relationship. I was told that the marriage wasn't really real. It was just for citizenship because she was illegal. I was told certain things that make me be like, okay. You know, people in social media and in real life, it'd be two different stories. People be living fake lives on the internet and people be living different lives in real life. I'm under the impression that this was something that was being done on the internet for views and money. And that's how they made their money. But in real life, he do whatever he wants to do. And she let him do it. She stay with him. She don't want to leave him. So he do whatever he want to do and pay all the bills and stuff. And that's what it is. And they all have a mutual understanding. She knew about me. Everything's kaka kumbaya. <laughs> so uh, I can't I don't know like I don't I can't you just because people are lying don't mean I'm supposed to know how am I supposed to know people is lying shoot there was so much stuff that was going on that made me believe like, okay yeah this might be possible it's probably possible I do know people that marry people for citizenship and their marriage ain't really what it is there's no love there or anything like that they just do it to do it so I that's that situation is not um unknown like that's not a, a, a weird concept and I knew that this, I knew she was illegal a long time ago before y'all did. I knew that. Like, I was told this. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know. Like, and then when I tried to unfollow them and leave the situation alone, when I realized I'm being lied to and something's weird going on, 
she got mad at me for unfollowing her. Like, what do you mean? I don't want nothing to do with y'all. Like, so really, she didn't tell all the story. She just wanted to say whatever made her look good and kumbaya, whatever, cool. But the whole purpose of that story, I think, was just to show that, like, he's that type of person that threaten people. And he did. And he do. And he puts out, he tries to put out addresses and do a type of type of female stuff. He do a lot of stuff. I can sit here and talk all about this, man. I'm not going to do that because I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I could have spoke about this stuff a long time ago when it happened, and I didn't because I ain't going to be associated with it. Sometimes stuff just be like, yeah, this is so lame. Um, I don't even want nobody to know about this. I can take my, I can take, I can take my L's in peace. He is not paying me. That's a dang lie. <laughs> so, that is what? That's all. I haven't spoken to them since this stuff happened. I ain't spoken to neither one of them since it happened. Once everything happened, everything was done with it, was done with it, over with, moved on. And so, you know, like I said, she's only saying something now because she's not with him no more. So I guess she's just airing out his laundry, but she still sat there while he was doing all that stuff and didn't say nothing. She only wants to speak now.